What's up, everybody? It's George back again with Warp Charge Gaming. Excited to be here to show you my Space Wolf Army at Adepticon. If you've been watching the channel at all, I've been waiting for a long time for the Space Wolves to be complete, and it's all been timed with my partner and good friend, uh, James Schaff, on getting this army complete for Adepticon. Despite being in its uh, index state, I had to bring it, I had to get, uh, show it off, and uh, we also had a great partnership with Crystal Fortress, so I showed it the entire 4,000 points of Space Wolves at each table, and in this video, you'll get to see the, uh, the move around within the Crystal Fortress. Uh, I hope you enjoy to see what it's like to follow me along through the uh, awesome event that is Adepticon. Uh, through the, uh, the series, I match up against the, my first opponent, the Thousand Suns Zinch, and they mortal wound me to Obliterum, uh, so you can uh, enjoy that. And next, I fight the Yandan um, Eldar, and I got to have a good matchup there. That was a lot of fun on a beautiful tabletop. And then going up against Grey Knights, uh, followed up by Custodes. So I hope you enjoy the uh, battles, and I hope you uh, get a, a little bit of insight or glimpse into what it's like to be at Adepticon if you were there. Hell yeah, I hope you see yourself on cam. Uh, and uh, give a shout out uh, down below in the comments. So big appreciation for tuning in, and I hope to see you at Nova this year uh, later and Adepticon soon next. Take care. <laughs>
My game two here, fighting against the Aldari, a Yandin uh, craft world. Yeah, definitely. It was mm -hmm. fun. Uh, your space wolves are rough. Yeah, the three up bones did a good job today. After suffering a ton of mortal wounds coming into this battle, I just was crossing my fingers. There wasn't a lot of things that caused mortal wounds. And I know that you're probably used to those Wraith Guards. They can wipe some stuff off the board. Right. So, Minus four. Right, so we came in in the beginning of the game, and uh, I thought that my Wraith Guard were just going to be able just to, like, clean up some of your front guys and man they just stuck around yeah. and stuck around and wall. then yeah yeah well you certainly uh, i learned hard the hard way of murder fang there right he, he charged in and just got whacked eight damage just he thought he was going to be fine no but i mean the the mvp was the Clexus, right yeah and it, the Clexus just one sh like and getting the final the wound on the oh uh, my god yes yeah, so there were so many wacky moments you had a perils that removed your totally removed your psyker because you landed a three on the d3 Sucking other guys in the war, we all took some damage. Right. Your guy, your your uh, wave serpent exploded, and that caused mortal wounds. And then, right as the wave serpent was going to survive all these attacks with like one wound left, the Colexus comes in there and dodges all armor saves, so you had to die. Right, right, and that it was, and then uh, the um, at the end when my when you got your uh, charge off with right. with your one guy on the last wraith guard, the wraith guard. Like, what was it? Oh, like yeah, 10 shots? Like, yes. And you survived? I needed to make eight out of 10. Right. And I scored two. There was two twos on the board. I was most relieved I'd been, especially after Murder Fang oh. got murdered the, right before that turn. Because that would have changed. Because that would have that would have started a, a chain reaction of yes. getting the rest of them. It would have been too. a bad show. Right. Yeah, because so. then everyone else that charged in afterwards could have continued to die and right. die and die. Yeah, it yeah. was scary. Yeah, but I mean, lucky for me, you forgot to bring your reserves in for two turns, yeah. right? Yeah, that definitely was a factor. There, I felt, felt like I played, you know, the, I'm, I'm so amazed at the adrenaline that happens. Right. Even when I was playing a very, like, chill, you were very, right. like, right. it's cool, man, let's have fun. We're on a snowboard, our right. army's a little cool. <laughs> Screw it. And I just, like, still, like, boom, 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 you know? Right, because, I mean, I think if in the beginning, if you would have brought in your, uh, if when you were bringing in your uh, cavalry, yeah. like, there was a couple spots where, you know, you could have moved in your cavalry a little better, and yes. you would have just, like, really just rolled over me yes. instead of... That's the biggest thing I find with my army particularly is those big bases is movement. It's all about not trapping myself. Right. And I'm especially twisted because I've been doing so much tabletop simulator. Right. Like distance and base sizes and oh. stuff. It's all a little like skewed in my mind right now. Right. From a virtual realm. Totally. Uh, but all around, man, it was great playing. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Man. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, good luck in the rest of the tournament. Thanks, you too. Yeah. Awesome.